The origin of Beerus has long been shrouded in mystery. Very little is known of where he came from and his reason for becoming a destroyer god. This is the story I have for you today, the day Beerus performed his first true act of destruction. Our story takes place in an unknown galaxy in Universe 7, millions of years ago. So, Akusa, have you had a change of heart? It really does pain me to see you this way. I... already told you. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Barely breathing, yet still spouting such lies. You know it brings me no pleasure seeing you this way. Tell me where Beerus and Champa are, and by my grace I will allow you to return to the life you had. A life under your rule is a fate worse than death. Stupid girl! Have I not treated you well? You are my most trusted acolyte, yet you continue to defy me! Why do you side with these lowborn sand slugs? What could they possibly have done to deserve such loyalty? Because they were born from the people you continue to oppress. And soon, they will come for you. They will be your retribution. If that is what you believe, I can show you a fate worse than death. You've wasted my mercy, and now you will suffer for your choice! Years later, Beerus would return, only to find his planet enveloped in a dark haze. <sighs> Are you hesitating, Beerus? It's you, Whis. You are a destroyer god now. Indecision can be costly, especially in this case. You need to act quickly. The longer you delay, the more dangerous the situation becomes. For the people of this planet, salvation is impossible. The spell that binds this planet cannot be broken. I shudder to think that there exists a mortal able to unlock dark magic as power. The souls of every living being on this planet are bound to this spell. Beerus, even if you send them to the afterlife, they will never find peace. For your people, it is a torturous existence. They are husks of their former selves, ever on the edge of life and death. If left unchecked, the spell that torments them will spread, and it will surely mean the end of the universe. For the safety of all life, they must be expunged from existence entirely. I understand that this is your home. But you must know that there is only one thing you can do for them. A dark wizard enslaved the people of Beerus' home world, and they were desperate to find a way to free themselves. A small group of its people summoned my sister and I with a relic we left here on a previous quest for rare delicacies a few short centuries ago. They offered up two of their young ones, begging us to train them in the ways of the gods. These two brothers, twins in fact, and they were unlike any mortals I've ever seen. The depth of their potential surpasses even the strongest destroyer gods. I would become Beerus's teacher, and my sister, Champa's. Beerus took to the training more quickly than his brother Champa, and it wasn't long before he mastered his destroyer powers. He was focused on the single objective of saving his people. However, he would soon learn that becoming a destroyer god requires a different kind of conviction. Far away on Beerus' homeworld, the Dark Wizard sensed Beerus' strength growing to unfathomable heights. He knew that if Beerus were to return, he would surely be overthrown. Fear struck the wizard's heart, and it drove him to do the unthinkable. That day, dark magic never seen in the mortal realm was unlocked. The wizard's soul, blackened by evil, was imbued into dark flames that erupted from his body. The inhabitants of the planet watched in horror as the spell descended upon them. The spell spread across the entire planet like a plague, and not a single soul could escape the wizard's evil influence. The wizard had accomplished his goal, 
he held an entire planet hostage and would never die unless one with the power of a destroyer god would be willing to erase millions of innocent lives. You are a destroyer god now, Beerus. You must perform your- I know that! I'll do it. From the ground. I wish to see them one last time. I want them to know that I came back for them. Very well. I will be watching closely. Should you fail here, there will be dire consequences. It... it can't be. Beerus, it's really you. Yes, it's me, Akusa. Part of me hoped that you'd return, but Beerus, you must leave here. Xerxes' dark essence has infected all of us now. We can't escape, but you and Champa still can. Please, things cannot be as we planned. You can't save us anymore. Go! No. no, I... I won't run. Not again. The time is now, Beerus. <laughs> You're such a meathead. You know, if you ever get tired of fighting, I could teach you a little magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have nothing to fear. Even with the power of a god. You are still weak! could never take the lives of these people you so love. Their souls belong only to me, boy! As will yours! Beerus! Forgive me! Clear your mind, Champa. Your thoughts of home betray you. You must focus only on destruction. Champa. Brother, is that you? It is done, Champa. I'm sorry. You're sorry? What did you do? You did it! Tell me you did it! <laughs> you liar! <laughs> you said if we became destroyers, we could save everyone! Why? Tell me why! I wish there was another way. But there wasn't. I'm... sorry. I will never forgive you for this, Beerus. Never! You did well, my lord. You will make a fine destroyer god. My lord? What happened to Beerus? Lord Beerus, if you prefer. Fine, whatever. It's all the same to you. I'd like to get some sleep now. As you wish, my lord. At least this way. I can remember you. The way you were. Hey yo guys, and thank you for watching the brand new remaster of one of Rising Fist's most well-known what-if stories. Don't forget to leave us a like if you did enjoy. Special thanks to the amazing voice cast, The Dub Up, Dragon Ball University, Adrian Santa, and Fluffbat. And thank you to the Rising Fist Patreon members. Sin Overlord 17, Nick Lartz, Fizzy, Brandon Stella, Luke Williams, Sergeant Boomer, James Wycliffe, No Name, Ernest Berry, Lee Urquides, Aria Rosati, Jacob Warden, Afro Shogun, Heisenberg, Sacred Saiyan, Aaron Reichenberger, Douglas Lambert, Prod by Rose, Lewis Perkins, Charlie, Zoe Squad, Ethan Yeatstar, and Gideon Hill. Subscribe if you're new, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Peace.